Over the past couple of years, I've been lucky enough to be part of some really special and exciting inaugural and delivery flights, such as Uganda Airlines Airbus A330 or Qatar Airways Airbus 350-1000. Those events have always been a huge party celebrating aviation. They always create a lot of fun and memorable so moments for both the cabin crew photos, and passengers. Unknowingly, I booked myself on Eurowings Kiev to Düsseldorf inaugural flight and I thought this is going to be another fun ride. But not with the Germans. So please join me on the world's worst inaugural flight of all time. Guys, beautiful good morning from, yes, you guessed it right, the beautiful capital of Ukraine, Kiev. I am staying here at Hotel Ukraine, a very Soviet Union, especially I like the TV, look at this. Today, I'll be flying your wings in business class, into European business class, so don't get too excited all the way to Düsseldorf. So let's do this, let's go to the airport and let's fly to Germany. It takes approximately 45 minutes from the heart of Kiev to Borspol Airport, which is handling roughly 65% of all passenger traffic in Ukraine. Before the pandemic, the airport would handle around 60 million passengers a year. Apart from the newly introduced Düsseldorf service, Eurowings also operates flight from Kiev to Berlin. Do I book myself a business class trip for almost $300? It does not include lounge access. But whether your wings business class is worth it or not is something I'm going to answer throughout this video. Thanks to my priority pass, I was though able to enter the lounge. So unintentionally, I booked myself on an inaugural flight. Today is the very first flight between Düsseldorf and Kiev and uh, vice versa. So um, it's not just a business class review of Pure Wings, no, it's an action uh, coverage of the inaugural flight from Kiev to Düsseldorf, which starts today on September 1st. Let's do this. Maybe we even get the water cannon salute from me back in Düsseldorf. Let's see what they have in store for us. But I'm quite sure that it should get a water cannon salute here on arrival in Kiev. So let's see if we can catch this moment somewhere near the tarmac. Once at the gate, the party was in full swing already. Lots of media, TV, management, cake and champagne and myself who kind of invited himself to this event. And honestly, I had no intentions to be the party pooper. So as you can see, the fire trucks are already in place, so there's going to be a water cannon salute and here at the gate is like a lot of TV, a lot of interviews, I guess the general manager or whoever, I don't know, uh, I don't care, they're all here, so it's a bit of a party, there was some cake, you can get some champagne, so very interesting, yeah, I didn't know, like honestly I didn't book this on purpose, I just know that I needed to go to Germany and here I am finding myself in an inaugural flight, well, why not, right? <laughs> And then the Eurowings Airbus A320 arrived and was welcomed by a traditional water cannon salute. Once at the gate, the media was allowed a close-up and lots of photos were taken before we started to board the plane. So, boarding the inaugural flight that I've never really booked, but yeah. Let's see what to expect on this flight. Maybe there's free goodies, maybe there's a lottery, maybe there is something in store. Let's see how it goes. But once at the door, I was welcomed in the most German manner possible. Nein, 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 nein. Nine! No hello, no nothing, but a lesson on how I need to wear a medical mask on this flight, which could have communicated much nicer. Once I changed the mask, I proceeded to my seat, or the so-called BIS class viewer wings. First thing you notice, that there is no divider between both classes, and you will get a blocked middle seat with OK legroom. 
So guys, welcome on board this inaugural flight to Düsseldorf. Welcome with me being heavily educated by the crew that I can't wear uh, my mask, that I have to wear a medical mask. I know different countries, different rules, but it can all be set in a nicer, more welcoming and understanding manner. Quite intimidating, those girls. First off, Eurowings offers entertainment options which can be streamed to your personal device by connecting to the Wi-Fi. You can also connect to the internet for rather reasonable prices. Shortly after takeoff, the meal service would start and for the additional 100 euros I paid to fly in business class, you would at least expect a hot meal. The cabin crew, who obviously hated her job beyond belief, and still carried this terrible attitude, wanted me to pick some food rather quick so she can go back to the galley and chill. When I asked about the choice, she rolled her eyes, referring me to the menu she handed to me. When I booked the flight, Eurowings advertised the business class experience as a first class service. If this is first class service, I feel really sorry for everyone traveling in economy class. However, I picked the sandwich with a water, which was worth 7 euros in total and tasted very, very average. So, what to say? Um, this is an inaugural flight, right? And I have been on plenty of inaugural flights in my life and it has always been a celebration uh, of a new flight, a new route. It has always been a happy moment for everybody involved because it's something new, you put your best crew on from the moment of boarding, crew started already educating people how to wear their masks. They were super cranky about this and, uh, and that carried on throughout the flight. Zero service attitude. I'm a business class passenger and I was like too afraid because of their terrible attitude to really ask for anything or flip through uh, the menu because I was just afraid that they're gonna snap on me right that I took take maybe too much time or whatever so it wasn't a very nice uh, environment given the premium I paid I am not treated like a premium passenger on this flight and it's not worth the money at all. Also the cabin doesn't feel very uh, exclusive, right? Mostly because there's people coming here from uh, economy, hanging out here. There's no curtain between business class and economy. And then also when I like, after after I went to the loo and I saw the crew making a, preparing a coffee and I was like, oh, can I have a coffee? And he said, no, you have to pay. And I was like, but I'm a business class passenger, so that means I have to pay as well. And she said, oh, no, then you can have it. Well, I was actually preparing that for my colleague, but you can have it. And I was like still being very nice. I and mean, she was okay about it, but given that this is an inaugural flight, a huge celebration, a big moment for the airline, because they put months and months of work into an inaugural flight, right? That takes time to set up a new route. And then... Uh, They've ruined it like this. Very little energy here. Um, yeah, but that's, that's my feedback on it. Do I recommend Eurowings business class? Not at all. It's not worth the money. It, quite frankly, feels like a ripoff. And you're so much better off in uh, in economy. And if you are hungry, just pay 5 euros or 10 euros for a meal. And uh, it's so much better. And look, the seats aren't any better, right? So that's what I had to say about my experience here in business class on Eurowings. So now I will literally scold it to put my empty cup on the tray. Just put the tray up. I was like, yeah, if you would 
come to the cabin once in a while collecting trash, I wouldn't have to do it instead of putting it on the seat and damaging the seat or have something drip on the seat. Terrible surrogate attitude, terrible people. Honestly, they never come into the cabin or anything like this and now they're gonna give me a hard time because I was trying to be nice and not dump my rubbish somewhere but leave it on the open food tray so they can grab it. Yeah, unbelievable. That is officially the worst inaugural flight I've ever done in my life. <laughs> yeah, rubbish. We then started our descent into Düsseldorf Airport, a place that is partially to blame for me becoming an F geek. I still remember how fascinated I was flying an LTU TriStar, an absolute beauty of an airplane. So please let me know in the comments what made you an F geek. I can't wait to hear your story. So guys, welcome to Germany and given that this was an inaugural flight, I have no idea who came up with picking the worst crew you have in your company, which had a terrible attitude. There was no motivation, there was no sense of celebration, so that is, I think, where it all went wrong. Because from my experience being on so many inaugural flights, I know that they handpick the crew and just only put the most motivated and friendly and nicest crew on the plane. Because uh, it makes such a difference, right? And it's also a treat for really well-performing crew that they can get to do things like this. So this is where I was really, really disappointed and surprised because I didn't want to be on an inaugural flight. I happened to be on it, but it was very nice to see that not every inaugural flight is a reason to celebrate. Maybe the Germans, they do it differently, but from uh, my experience, it was really, really disappointing. Also, Eurowings business cars, it's not worth it. Absolutely not. Uh, uh, like considering how much more I paid, according to the economy class passengers, not an exclusive cabin, food for seven euros, uh, no real hot food, no real benefit, no lounge, no nothing, no fast track. At least in Kiev, I heard at some airports, it's a little bit different. Um, so it's absolutely not worth the money. The seat is nothing special. If you want additional baggage or whatever, just pay for it, book it. But also as advertised, falsely advertised by your wings, they say it's a first class experience that you will never forget. I won't forget it because it was shit. And that is what I can say. Service was a letdown. The overall experience, do not waste your money on your, on your wings business class. In my opinion, even if you have a great crew, I don't think it's worth the extra spending. This was it, guys. If you want to support my work, check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description box below. If you want to make me a little Christmas present and support my work, you know, I'm self funded in order to give you an honest opinion. And this is it. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought of today's slide. Guys, wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.